Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious and elegant dessert for Mother's Day, my lemon bar pie. I love this idea because it has all the delicious richness of a traditional lemon bar, but when baked in a cheesecake pan and sliced, it looks really elegant for mom. And in honor of Mother's Day, this video is part of a special collaboration that I'm doing with one of my favorite new moms here on YouTube, Rachel Weiland. If you don't already know of Rachel's channel, Glow of Grace, you are in for a treat. There she shares all kinds of great beauty tips, parenting tips, and now she's starting to do cooking videos. So when I found out that she was embracing cooking, I thought, oh, we should do a collaboration, especially for Mother's Day. So after my video is done, be sure to head to her channel, and there you can see her delicious strawberry lemon cake. Another great idea for mom. Okay, so let me show you how to make my lemon bar pie. We're first going to prepare a nine inch spring form pan. Now, if you don't have one of these, they're definitely something that's great to invest in because you can use it for cheesecakes, cornbreads, even coffee cakes. And I'll leave you a link in the description of all the things you can make in a spring form pan. So you just wanna treat it generously with some baking spray. And then I also like to go in with a pastry brush and just make sure that it's all well distributed. And then you can set that aside and we're gonna to get to work on our shortbread crust. So in the bowl of an electric mixer, you're gonna to cream together a quarter cup of unsalted butter, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You wanna beat that together until everything is nice and combined and scraping down the bowl as needed. Then you're gonna add a pinch of salt and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. And then go ahead and let that go until all of that butter and flour is incorporated. Now, because there aren't any eggs in this dough, it's a pretty crumbly dough, so you really have to let it beat for about five minutes or so. And once you see like little pea-sized bits of dough forming, that's when you know it's done. Then you're gonna take your dough, you're gonna roll it into a ball, press it into a disc, and then you just wanna roll it out with a rolling pin to about a quarter of an inch thick. At this stage, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are actually just gonna take this dough and press it into the tin. So sometimes this dough, because it is a little crumbly, will fall apart on you and that's okay because you're just gonna press it into the tin. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Now at this stage, do not be tempted to prick this dough with a fork. I know that that's how traditional shortbread is baked, but if you do that, when it comes time to actually pour in our lemon filling, all of that filling is gonna go through all of those holes and you're gonna end up with a big mess on your hands. I know this from experience, so don't do that. You just wanna actually bake it until it's nice and golden brown at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for just 20 minutes. The more golden brown, the better, because you do want to make sure that that crust is nice and crisp for when you actually go pour in your lemon filling. And this is really easy to do. In a large bowl, you're going to crack in six eggs. To that, you're going to add three quarters cup of sugar, two teaspoons of lemon zest, and two thirds cup of fresh lemon juice. Usually it takes about three lemons to get the zest in the juice. And a good pinch of salt. Then you can whisk this all up just to make sure that all of those eggs and the sugar gets nice and combined. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of flour. Then once your crust is done, you can just take it out of the oven and pour this lemon filling right on top. You don't even have to wait for it to cool. And then you're gonna put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. That's why I like this recipe. 20 minutes on the crust, 20 minutes on the filling. Really easy to remember. And you really don't wanna go past 20 minutes because if this filling gets overbaked, similar to a cheesecake, it'll crack. So you don't want it to crack. So you're almost better a little bit underbaked than overbaked because it will set up as well when you put it in the fridge. And you do wanna refrigerate it, I'd say anywhere for an hour to three hours or even overnight is great. And then once you're ready to serve, you just wanna go in with a sharp knife and just loosen the pie around the edges and that will make it really easy to release. And then you wanna dust the whole thing with some powdered sugar. And then we are going to slice it. And I typically like to just take a big chef knife, slice it in half, and then pivot it and slice it into quarters. And then the way that I like to plate this is to take a long rectangular platter and put a wedge going in opposite directions, just because you can fit more on a platter that way and it looks really pretty. And then because this time of year, my lemon trees are in full bloom, I do you like to snip off a little bloom and put that in the center? You could also make a nice garnish with just a nice little slice of lemon too. No need to have a lemon tree. To serve, you can serve this with some homemade whipped cream, maybe some strawberries or raspberries, whatever you have will do. And you will see, you will have one elegant dessert for mom. 
Lemon bars are always such a great crowd pleaser this time of year, and when you present it like this in a nice shape of a pie, it just elevates the whole thing just a little bit, which is always worth doing when it comes to mom. All right, you guys, I hope you give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I also hope that you head on over to Rachel's channel, check out her delicious lemon strawberry cake, subscribe, and I think you will enjoy many of her videos the way that I do. And to all you mothers out there, I hope you enjoy your day. Put your feet up, milk it for all it is worth. It only comes around once a year. We do have to take advantage. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy your day as much as I will. And I will see you back here next week. All right, you guys. See you then. Bye. You know I could have been a painter Mixing some